Hey everybody, um, our book today is Blueberries for Sale by Robert McCloskey. Um, this is one of our classic ch children's lit books at school. Um, and something cool about this book is it has this right on the t front, um, which is a Caldecott Award, which means it won an award for um, having um, great pictures inside for its illustrations, it got an award. Um, Alright. So it says, One day, Little Sal went with her mother to Blueberry Hill to pick blueberries. Little Sal brought along her small tin pail, and her mother brought her a large tin pail to put blueberries in. We will take our blueberries home and can them, said her mother. Then we will have food for the winter. Little Sal picked three blueberries and dropped them into her little tin pail. Kaplink, kaplink, kaplunk. She picked three more blueberries and ate them. Then she picked more blueberries and dropped one in the pail, kaplunk, and the rest she ate. Then little Sal ate four blueberries, all from her pail. Her mother walked slowly through the bushes, picking blueberries as she went and putting them into her pail. Little, pe little Sal struggled to along behind, picking blueberries and eating every single one. She's eating all her blueberries. Little Sal hurried ahead and dropped a blueberry in her mother's pail. It didn't sound complete because the bottom of the pail was already covered with berries. She reached down inside of to get her berry back. Though she really didn't mean to, she pulled out a large handful because there were so many berries right up close to the one she had put in. Her mother stopped picking and said, Now, Sal, you run along and pick your own berries. Mother wants to take her berries home and can them for next winter. Her mother went back to picking, but little Sal, because her feet were tired of standing and walking, sat down in the middle of a large clump of bushes and ate blueberries. Uh oh, look who's on the other side. On the other side of Blueberry Hill, Little Bear came with his mother to eat blueberries. Little Bear, she said, eat lots of berries and grow big and fat. We must store up food for the long, cold winter. Little Bear followed behind his mother, and she walked slowly through the bushes eating berries. Little Bear stopped now and then to eat berries. And then he had to hustle along to catch up. Because her, his feet were tired of hustling, he picked out a large clump of bushes and sat right down in the middle and ate blueberries. Who does that sound like? Over on the other side of the hill, little Sal ate all the berries she could, oh, all the berries she could reach from where she was sitting and started out to find her mother. She heard a noise from around the rock and thought, that's my mother walking along. Who do you think it's gonna be? But it was a mother crow and her children. 
and they stopped eating berries and flew away, saying, Caw! 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 And she heard another noise in the bushes, and she thought, That's surely my mother, and I will go that way. Uh-oh, who is it? Look. But it was Little Bear's mother instead. She was tramping along, eating blueberries, and thinking about storing up food for the winter. Little Sal tramped right along behind. I don't, I don't think I would do that. By this time, Little Bear had eaten all the berries he could reach without moving his, from his clump of bushes, and he hustled off to catch up with his mother. He hunted and hunted, but his mother was nowhere to be seen. He heard a noise from the stump, over a stump and thought, This is my mother walking along. Who do you think he's going to run into? But it was a mother partridge, partridge and her children. They stopped eating berries and hurried away. Then he heard a noise in the bushes and thought, That's surely my mother. I will hustle that way. Look, the partridge is a bird down here in the bush. Oh, who do you run into? But it was little Sal's mother instead. She was walking along, picking blueberries and thinking about canning them for next winter. Little Bear hustled along right behind. Little Bear and Little Sal's mother and Little Sal and Little Bear's mother were all mixed up with each other along the blueberries in Blueberry Hill. Little, Sa Little Bear's mother heard Sal walking behind and thought it was Little Bear, and she said, Little Bear, munch, munch, eat all you gulp can possibly hold, swallow. Little Sal said nothing. She picked three berries and dropped them, ka-plink, ka-plank, ka -plank, into her small tin pail. Little Bear's mother turned around to see what on earth could make a noise like kaplink, kaplunk. Grump, she cried, choking on a mouthful of berries. This is not my child. Where is Little Bear? She looked one good look and backed away. She was old enough to be shy of people, even a very small person like Little Sal. And she turned around and walked off very fast to hunt for Little Bear. Little Sal's mother heard Little Bear tramping along behind and thought it was Little Sal. She kept right on picking and thinking about canning blueberries for next winter. Uh-oh. Look. <clears throat> Little Bear patted up and peeked into her pail. Of course, he only wanted to taste a few of what was inside, but there were so many and they were so close together that he tasted a tremendous mouthful by mistake. That means a lot. <clears throat> now, Sal, said little Sal's mother, without turning around, you run along and pick your own berries. Mother wants to can these for next winter. Little Bear tasted another tremendous mouthful and almost spilled the entire pail of blueberries. Gonna, just gonna turn around. <laughs> little Sal's mother turned around and gasped. My goodness, you are not little Sal. Where, oh, where is my child? Little Bear just sat munching and munching and swallowing and licking his lips. Little Sal's mother slowly backed away 
She was old enough to be shy of bears, even very small bears like Little Bear, and she turned and walked away quickly to look for Little Sal. She hadn't gone very far before she heard kaplink, kaplink, kaplink. She knew just what made this, that kind of noise. Little Bear's mother had not hunted very long before she turned. She heard a hustling sound and stopped now and then to munch and swallow. She knew just what had made that kind of noise. Everybody back to where they're supposed to be. Little Bear and his mother went home down one side of Blueberry Hill, eating blueberries all the way and full of food stored up for next winter. And little Sal and her mother went down the other side of Blueberry Hill, picking berries all the way, and drove home with food to can for next winter. A whole pail of blueberries and three more besides. Look, they're canning blueberries. See you on the next book.